this video. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a channel to a team in Microsoft Teams. So first, let's get the terminology right. What you're seeing in front of you are each of my different teams, and I've basically set up a team for each of my classes. So there's a team for my maths class, for my business class, etc. So I'm going to go into the team for, well, this is a test class that I use for these videos. Okay. On the left here, we can see it says general. This is a channel. So a channel is basically the different ways I can communicate with the class, so to speak. All teams are set up with one general channel, and you can set up additional uh, channels thereafter. Each channel can have as many or as few people. You can have the full class in it or a small group of people in it. It's completely up to yourself. So, for example, if I'm doing a group project, uh, I can create channels for each of the different groups so I can share information and give feedback with them, that specific group. So how do I do go about doing it? Well, I click the three buttons there up at the top where the name of the class is, and I select Add Channel. So I'm just going to call this a test channel. Um, description, I don't have to put a description in, but I'm going to say for group work, for group one, for example. Now, here's the choice. Standard is where the entire team are on it. So I could have, for example, a channel just for Home, uh, announcements for the classwork that we're going to be doing every day um, while we're not in school and another, the general channel can just be for general questions or I can make it private which is what you'd want to be doing if you're going to have for group work or something like that. For easiness sake I'm going to do that there now. However if you're going to do a standard one make sure you click automatically show this channel in everyone's channel list so they can see it's there. In fact I'll do that there just to show that. So I'm going to add that there and I can see I've added that test channel there. Now the test channel, as you can see, has less options at the moment. It's got posts, files, and notes. I can add in other apps there, though, as I want. I have another video on that, which is showing on the top right-hand side of the screen there now, if you want. Now, I'm just going to go back here and add in another channel quickly there. A small group, I'll call this one. And I'll just change this to being only for a small number of people. So you can see what has to be done here to add people to the channel. Here, there we go. I have students and teachers. So I can add the different people that I want to the channel. And that's it. Now I'm just going to skip that for now. And you can see yourself the way there's a little lock button there. So I can see that's only for a small number of people. Hope that video all made sense and you found it something what interesting and learned something new. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like. Any questions, ask in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video.